What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about the silver naysayers and the two reasons I believe they do not like silver. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Link will be in the description trying to get to a thousand subscribers. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with a bunch of other products, and many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today, I want to talk about something a little bit different. Many of the people who are familiar with my channel know that... I don't like to focus a whole lot on the negatives. I don't like to focus too much on the people who have negative things to say about silver because there are thousands and thousands of thousands of comments that I receive every week about people who like silver. Those are the people that I'd rather focus on. But I was thinking about it today, and it's really no secret. There is a large number of people, or I shouldn't say that, there's a small number of people, but it's highlighted because they stick out like a store thumb, who take the time out of their day to search up silver stacking channels, and then they'll go and click on a silver stacking video, and then they'll head on down to the comments where there's a bunch of silver stacking enthusiasts, and they'll have something stupid to say about silver, for whatever reason. I, I don't know why they do this, I don't know why they have this much time on their hands to be watching videos about things that they do not enjoy. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't get it. Whatever. But moving forward, I think that there are two main reasons that people do not like silver. I think there are two main reasons, two main factors that come into play when it comes to people who just have negative things to say about silver or a negative opinion about silver or just negative overall feeling of what the silver stacking community is all about or whatever the case may be. Now there's obviously a handful of people like this on YouTube, but in my opinion and from my perspective, I think the first number one biggest reason that some people do not like silver is simply they don't understand it. Pretty easy, pretty much common sense if you ask me. This is the first of two reasons. I think some people just don't understand it. Now, these are not typically the people who have negative things to say about silver. These are just the people, maybe your friends, maybe your family, who you've tried to introduce the concept to them, and they're just like, eh, nah, not really for me. Maybe they don't get it. Maybe they don't understand it. Maybe they don't want to get it. Maybe they don't want to understand it. Silver's not for everyone at the end of the day. I mean, you know, credit cards aren't for everyone. College isn't for everyone. You know, who cares? Some people are into it, some people are not. And if this was something that everyone in the world was doing, it would probably be pretty boring to talk about. Not going to lie. But truth be told, that's probably the main reason that people don't really care too much or care for silver or those who stack silver because they don't get it. Maybe they don't understand what we're doing. Maybe to them, you know... Looking at it from face value, pun unintended, by the way, I do not mean face value of a coin, but face value of the concept of stacking silver, or by saving your money with silver, they might see it as a waste of time. They're like, well, why would you take the time out of your day to go and convert your dollars into silver when you can just hang on to them dollars? Maybe that's how they feel. Maybe, you know, you try to explain it, or they do a little bit of research, and they they come to the conclusion or one of us tries to explain that, well, I mean, you could save it in dollars, but you could always just convert it back into dollars from silver if you want, which is, you know, another argument on their end, I guess you could say, would be like, okay, that's, you know, double the amount of waste of time. You're going to take the time out of your day to convert it into silver, and then you're going to take the time out of your day later on to convert it back into dollars. They just, maybe they just don't understand it. And guess what? I have no desire to force anyone to understand it. If they don't get it, if they don't want to get it, if they are kicking and screaming because they refuse to admit that they understand or that my logic starts to make sense now that they're beginning to understand, then, then whatever. I don't care. They don't have to understand. 
I'm here to educate people. I'm also here to learn, but I'm also not here to convert anyone. I don't care enough about other people's money to tell them what to do with their money. I'm not in the position to do so anyway because I'm not a financial advisor and nothing on this channel should ever be taken as financial advice. But moving forward, away from the people who simply don't understand silver, therefore they do not stack it, I want to talk about the silver haters. You know the people, you know exactly who I'm talking about. There's probably two or three of them watching this right now. The person who is marching around a little coin shop with their little picket sign saying, Silver is funny, dollars are money. Obviously I'm being facetious here. I don't believe anyone is that stupid to go and do that. But that's in a way similar to what they do with silver videos. They take the time out of their day to go and leave some hateful negative comment about, oh, you guys are so stupid for stacking silver. Well, hey, guess what? You're the one engaging in conversation with the people that you think are stupid. So who's the stupid one here? But away from all of that, I think the main reason that Franklin Fiat and Late Fee Larry and all of those who have these, you know, horrible, terrible things to say about people who are stacking silver. Because you know what? How dare we? How dare we stack silver? I think the main reason has nothing to do with silver itself. I think the main reason that they are so aggressive towards the whole concept of stacking silver is probably because of a bad experience they had with somebody who stacked silver. Somebody probably introduced it to them in a ridiculous way. Somebody probably talked to them about stacking silver and why they need to stack silver because it's the only way to survive and the dollar bill is going to collapse and the banks are going to fall apart and we're going to be using dollar bills as toilet paper. I'm not talking about people like that, but those are the people who probably scared them away from it. The people who try to scare people into stacking are the same exact people who scare everyone away from stacking. Those are the people who make everyone who stacks look like a lunatic, truth be told. And I'm all for being honest. I'm all for being authentic. I'm all for being accountable. There are a few bad apples that ruin the whole barrel. And that goes for everything in life. That goes for every type of person, every type of hobby, every type of career. There's always a few bad apples that tarnish the reputation or whatever the case may be. So I don't think anybody really has a problem with stacking silver. I think the people who don't really understand it think the reason is because they don't understand it. And for the people who actually have a problem with it, don't actually have a problem with it. I think they have a problem with somebody in the past who introduces them in a wrong way, tried to scare them into it, tried to push it on them, tried to convert them. Like they knock on the door and be like, hey, do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, the American Silver Eagle? That type of person. I don't want to talk about people like that. I don't want to be lumped into that category. And, you know, there's nothing I could do. People can have their own preconceived notions. But, hey, I'm never going to try to scare anybody into it. You want to know why? I don't really care enough to scare anybody into it. All I'm doing is making videos to talk about my opinion and from my perspective. None of this is financial advice, so nothing on the channel should ever be taken as financial advice. I'm just documenting what I'm doing. I'm not telling anybody what to do. One thing I will tell you what to do, though, is hit that like button. I would really appreciate that. And if you are new, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also, subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of videos over there, all things money. Trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs. But we have a ton of other products as well. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, and many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. What are your thoughts? What's your opinion on what I shared in today's video? Does this somewhat kind of sort of open your eyes to the person out there, like I said, Franklin Fiat and Late Fee Larry who are marching around outside of a coin shop with their little picket signs, metaphorically speaking, but in a way that is kind of what they're doing on silver videos, if you think about it. So let me know your thoughts. 
Do you think it has anything to do with them simply just not understanding what we're doing over here? Or do you think it has something to do with being introduced in the wrong way, maybe an overly aggressive way or a fearful way? Let me know in the comments section down below. And also, if you hate silver, let me know why. It bumps up my engagement, which feeds my video to the algorithm, and I'd appreciate your help. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace. Silver is funny, dollars are money.